Welcome all of you to this video. So far, we have studied about the total surface area and the volume of new solids formed by the association and disassociation of basic solids. Moving forward with this concept, today we will learn about frustum of a solid cone. Dear children, let's see a new shape of this solid family, which looks like a cone but is not a cone by shape. It's a part of cone. We call it frustum of a cone. If cone is cut horizontally, it gives one frustum of a cone. Today, we will know this. When pointed area of cone is removed, the rest is called frustum of cone. Frustum is a Latin word which means sliced piece. Just as you are familiar with all the solid shapes in your daily life, in the same way you have seen the frustum of cone around you. Such as this glass of water, bucket, bowl, cup, flower pot, table lamp, shape formed by light emanating from table lamp, etc. Let us now observe it. To understand the frustum of a cone, let's take a cone whose height is capital H, capital L is the slant height and capital R is the radius. If we cut this cone parallel to its base, like this, we get two pieces of the cone. So can you tell what are these two pieces? Absolutely correct! The top piece is a cone and the bottom piece is the frustum of the given cone which we are going to discuss today. You can see that the frustum has two circular ends. Its lower end is called the base of the shape. Can you tell the radius of this base? Absolutely correct! Because it is the lower part of this cone Therefore, its radius will be the same as the radius of the cone, which is capital R. If we represent the subtracted radius of the upper end as R, the height of the frustum as small h, the slant height as small l, then we can find out slant height, total surface area, curved surface area and volume of the frustum with the help of their formulas. Can the radius of both ends of the frustum of a cone be equal? Give it a thought. Today we learned about the meaning of frustum of a cone. In the next video, we will solve the problems faced in our daily life based on the frustum of a cone.